video, we're going to learn how to draw very simple lipid bilayer membranes. Now, when you're drawing diagrams for uh, publication or uh, presentations, you want to avoid the temptation of drawing overly complicated lipid bilayer membranes in order that are intended to impress the viewer rather than convey information. So you want to match the level of complexity of the lipid bilayer with the complexity uh, le the molecular complexity of the protein representations that you're showing in the diagram. So let's draw a, ver a very simple lipid bilayer membrane. In order to do that, uh, we're going to have to learn how to make a custom brush. Now brushes are over here on the right. You'll see a cup with uh, some brushes inside of it. That, that icon, it opens up the brush palette. Now if you don't see that, you go up to Window, go down here and click brushes they'll add a window you drag it over and add it to this membrane uh, to this uh, uh, this menu on the right and you want to have this at hand because you'll find an il illustrator you'll use this quite a lot so let's uh, create a custom brush to uh, do that we're gonna zoom in quite a bit we're gonna draw the first line so we're gonna click on the left mouse button hold shift to keep it horizontal and um, we want to change that color to so now we want to click back on that object and change that color to uh, maybe I don't know color like that and you know like a darker brown now I'm gonna copy that object so I click on it I hold the alt button so that little arrow pops up click the left and hold click and hold the left mouse button and drag it down to about like that and now I'm going to fill the the inside. So that's that's the lipid bilayer. That's the two polar groups, the upper and lower membrane. And now I'm going to fill uh, the fill it in with a rectangle. So I'm going to go over here till I see that anchor. Go over here and then drag it down till I snap to the anchor on the bottom side. Now I'm going to click this selection tool. So I select that object that I previous drew and then I'm going to remove the outline and I'm going to add maybe a lighter inside and or lighter fill and then I'm going to move it to the back by right clicking on the object going down to arrange and click send to back so now I have um, the lipid bilayer I'm going to highlight these three objects I'm going to drag it over here to the um, the uh, brush palette so you want to have this window open and when I drag it over here you'll see a blue line that goes around the palette selection box and then you'll see this um, plus sign on the bottom right hand side of the mouse pointer uh, and that will indicate that I'm going to add those objects to the palette so I release my uh, mouse button and I see a window that pops up I have three options here um, they're, they're all useful in their own respects, but we're going to click Pattern Brush, say OK. And this window provides a lot of information. One, you can change the scale so you can make it larger than the original object that you drew, that you drug in here and added. You can add spacing. So what this, what this, um, this brush, Pattern Brush does is it copies that object along the path of uh, whatever path you draw. So you can add some spacing between there. Now, if you look below, you'll see uh, this uh, line here, and this indicates the behavior of this pattern brush. So what it tells you here is, as you're going along this line, whenever that line turns left, it's gonna look like that. So it's gonna have a break in it. Now, if you look over here to the top, right hand side you'll see that the li the line turns right so this is what happens to the well, this is what it looks like when the line turns right there's no break um, so you can modify what these corners look look like uh, by these options up above so this right word turning path this appearance you click this downward arrow and that now you can modify how that looks so I I, I like auto between and then if you keep going to the right, you'll see that now I can modify what happens when the path turns left. 
So I click down here, I click this arrow to the right side of that box and I click on auto between. So now when you look at this, it you can see that it's closed on all the corners. And you can also specify the endpoints, which is interesting if you want to draw like a custom arrow, but we're drawing a membrane, so we won't worry about that. And we won't worry about the other settings as well. So we're going to say, okay. So we add it, and you can see that we've added the brush over here. So I'm going to click away. I'm going to hold the alt button and then I'm going to spin the wheel so I can zoom out. And I'm going to hold the space button to pan over. And now I'm going to draw a, I don't know, a squiggly line here and I'm gonna click pattern brush. So there is a very simple lipid bilayer. And we can do very nice things with this very simple lipid bilayer. For instance, we can create, I don't know, a synaptic vesicle. So we're gonna do the ellipse tool. I'm gonna hold the shift key and then click down so that I have a circle, something like that. And then I'm gonna click over here and then I, ha I now have a synaptic vesicle and I can make it three-dimensional looking so I click back on the object I'm gonna go over to gradient I am going to click radial gradient and whenever you do that you might see it goes white to black you can just double click on this line and you can play with the settings to get the kind of color that you want um, but you can see it looks very three-dimensional and uh, you can add proteins in here, make it look nice. And you can also add maybe an irregular looking um, uh, membrane enclosed structure. And that way, so in order to do that, you use the pencil tool. So I'm just going to draw kind of an irregular looking object here. There we go. I'm going to use this space button to move over. And I'm going to go. I'm going to click the selection tool and then I'm going to go over here to the brushes and I'm going to add my brush and that looks nice and now I want to make it look a little 3D so I'm going to go back to the gradient this time I'm going to click freeform gradient and I'm going to do lines and I'm going to click up here let me click over here up here and I'm going to press escape I'm going to modify these. I'm going to make it look a little, um, maybe a little more, uh, something like that. Okay. Do the same. Actually, let me move that out. And then I'm going to click on this, and then not, not, because I want to copy that color over. Okay. Then I'm going to say escape. And then I'm going to draw some more lines here. I'm going to press escape and I'm going to modify it. Let me actually move that one out of the way. When you move it outside the structure, it deletes it. So I'm going to click back. I'm going to double click on this. And I'm going to make this a little darker. Maybe I had some B and then. Okay. Eh, maybe a little darker. I don't know, you can play around, play around with this as much as you want. But the, the goal is to get the kind of the point here. So there, you can, and you can play around with it and make it look however you want, you know, so, uh, but you can add some three-dimensional aspect to it. And that is how you draw um, a very simple lipid bilayer membrane. Mm -hmm.